visions of the past and hears random radio transmissions all the way from Ninjago, but nobody will trust in his sanity ever again. Young Wu is still being a brat. Hey, says Jay, let's distract the hunters with a tacky replica of Firstborn so we can escape. The others agree this is a good plan. Back in Ninjago, Lloyd and his friends discuss battle tactics, while Dareth whines because he doesn't have elemental powers of his own. Mistake's attempts to get rid of him through water poisoning are unsuccessful. The captive ninja smuggle plans and parts out to Cole and Wu so they can build the robot firstborn. Cole is too heavy to fly it like he's supposed to, so Wu volunteers to grow out his legs instead. Nobody stops to consider that a robot designed by a mushroom fiend may just not be capable of flight. Garmadon uses the force choke on Harumi, who only now bothers to tell him where Lloyd is hiding. As the hunters prepare to roast their dragon, Wu manages to get the robot firstborn off the ground through sheer power of brattiness alone. The tackiness of the robo firstborn sends the hunters into a panic. Unconcerned that they've just sent a child out into a hail of hunter arrows, Cole frees the other ninja. As young Wu is shot out of the sky, the real firstborn appears, take that her name is being taken in vain, and begins to destroy Camp Mime. Wu waits until the ninja have nearly escaped the collapsing camp to suddenly insist they go all the way back to free the enslaved dragons. Kai has a bonding moment with the wind dragon, even though he's met tons of dragons before and his friends are getting beaten up by hunters in the background. The freed dragons create enough chaos for the ninja to escape. Instead of just running after the ninja as they leave, the hunters prepare a giant motorized search party to find them. Meanwhile, Dareth notices Garmadon's minions preparing the world's most obvious ambush. <laughs>